We should not be engaging in trade deals. Uh, too many presidents from Trump to Clinton to Bush, too many presidents have sold us out on trade deals. The first rule is there should be workers at the table in negotiating these, and they need to have strong worker standards. They need to have Buy America provisions. Uh, they need to put workers first. And for too long, people in the Valley have seen presidents and corporate lobbyists sell them out, and these jobs are shut down. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, Farmers. We finally have written some rules that China can't illegally sell products in the United States. So they, they make something, 90% of it in China, they then send it to Vietnam or Malaysia, and they make a little change and they can sell it into the United States, essentially duty free or essentially without those, those, um, those requirements. So level the playing field will stop that. It will mean that labor standards need to be enforceable. It means environmental standards need to be enforceable because we, I'm, I'm proud of this. In the United States, we have stronger environmental standards. We have mostly strong, but not always labor standards in our own country. But we can't let countries sell us products that undercut our workers and undercut the environment. So how do we enforce that? We enforce that with knowing where the content comes from. And they need to, in writing, prove to us that this is coming from a country that, that follows labor standards and environmental standards and doesn't cheat. We can definitely become more competitive uh, around EPA regulations and, and other regulations. The, the time it takes to construct here, the time it takes to get permits, the permitting process is very burdensome. So there are some things that we can do in that, in that regard. And then there's also just the uh, things that the Senator talked about in terms of Chinese companies being able to finish products in another country and then label them as from there and then avoid some of the tariffs. So we, we support those uh, acts that he has. Is that a big issue with your membership, with the manufacturers, for it, example? It's, it's it hindering some of our members from being, actually what it actually hinders is economic development, future projects here. You know, as companies weigh, do I want to uh, build or expand in the U.S. or do I want to build and expand elsewhere? Right. Yeah, this is, this is a factor. And as far as uh, the Indo-Pacific Agreement, um, none of those protections, I, I guess. Yeah, none of those were, there were, there were what's called, without too much detail, four pillars. Some of them were anti-corruption, that was good. Some of them were, um, I'm forgetting what, the, uh, one of them was environment, I believe. Uh, three of the four were fine, but the, the trade part isn't. Uh, we stopped it, the other three are moving forward. I want us to engage with these other countries. I want a better relationship. I want to sell U.S. products there and have them sell products here. But I want to do it with workers at the table negotiating. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, Farmers.